Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Good luck. All right. So we start by opening this bishop line um, and then promptly panicking about what to do next. Uh, I've been there before. So I'm trying to recall exactly what all the deals with this position are. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't remember what to say about this. So we can take this 5-5 five, five point. Even though I think that's a unique step, I don't think generally that gets played. Um, this is interesting. Already we have a unique position. So I'm going to oppose this rook and see what they want to do about it. Uh, the interesting thing about this is that uh, they kind of trapped their rook, so um, we might see some fireworks here. All right. Interesting. So I could do knight takes, or I could do rook takes. If rook takes, rook takes, knight takes, rook drop. Um... Rook drop, rook promotes. I'm sorry, I have a clearer continuation than that. Let's do this. This looks fun. This looks too fun to pass up. Alright, so they're threatening our pawn. We're going to defend this pawn. And yeah, they get a lance. I'm not so concerned for some reason. Um, yeah, we're playing with fire here, which can sometimes be fun. All right, so then we attack on the open file, we're striking this gold. They'll defend that somehow, despite not having a pawn to defend with. If the silver defends, I could bring out my knight to hit it, and we could see many exchanges there. So if I bring the knight forward, well, I kind of have to at this point, so let's do it. If I fail to do that, they take my lance and then drop it, hitting my rook. So we're going to attack right away. Yeah, my rook is in danger. It's okay. Um, I'm debating which way to take this now. I mean, if I defend my rook, they defend their soul. Well, defense is not without merit. Sure. Let's try this defense. Um, yes, further tactics are possible. But my position's not terrible here, as best as I can tell. I 
mean, sure, they've got a dragon. Who doesn't? I don't. Let's check the overlay. Overlay's fine. So they could protect the silver and then I could take it. Or I could promote right in front of their king. Arguably the promotion threat might have been large enough that I could have traded the rook here and then taken this pawn, but I don't think so. I think if rook takes, bishop t well, they wouldn't do bishop takes, they'd probably do knight takes. Rook takes, knight takes, knight takes, they've got everything just barely covered there. Yes, yeah, so they're not bothering to further defend this. Um, Hmm. What a position. What a position where all of my pieces are hanging. Well, not all of them yet. Um, Alright, let's expose my bishop so it can participate in this attack. Dragons aren't the best defensive piece ever. Um, hmm. So I can continue trying to play some something here. Alright, we're going to exchange the knight finally because our opponent asks us to. Since they ask so nicely, we will oblige. Um, I don't see any other way to break this open, so we're trying this, although I'm not certain about this. It seems as if like I'm threatening a pawn drop here. Well, no, a pawn drop here doesn't do much. Because if I sack my silver gold takes and if I promote my rook, I've not achieved very much. So sacking a pawn in order to sack a silver isn't worth it. Um, yeah, dropping this to defend my rook was actually heavier than I thought. Mm -hmm. My thought here was to drop a pawn to hit the dragon again. Um, it uh, It's not profitable. But they're going to drop a pawn here. And I'll retreat. And it'll be fine. Alright, so let's try not to hang everything. Maybe calm down things a step or two. Um... Maybe not. Hmm. I don't have decisive tactics here. I do not have decisive tactics in my favor because this pawn is loose. <sighs> my pieces are gradually becoming more active. Oh. Go for well, I also have tactics that are decidedly not in my favor. 
after that move. Um, well, this doesn't do anything. Maybe it does something now, but it should not have. Um, hmm. All right. So. Yeah, I am just. I don't know. There's probably some word for it. Not doing well would be in English way to explain it. Alright, so we are down a rook for a knight. I've built up some solidness, but yeah. I've completely broken my own position and made zero inroads into the opponent's position, other than exposing my bishop, which is kind of nice. Um, hmm. Oh, this is awful. I'm trying to discourage this pawn from advancing further. Um, they're going to push the pawn anyway. Oh god, how did I miss that? Because I thought it was a rook. There's a difference. Chogi pieces and chess pieces are not the same. The sooner I understand that, the better. But yeah, I'm like, well, that clearly that's a rook, so I've trapped a rook, right? No, that was not a rook trap. And that explains away my confusion in that one instance. There are so many other instances. Um, regardless, we'll continue trying to keep this together. If I can get any initiative whatsoever, we'll uh, try to make use of that opportunity. But in the interim, it's going to be a very hard fight. Oh. Well, shit. I didn't see that. I mean, that's a pretty surprising move, but still. Alright, back we go. While surrounding the gold is possible, I don't know that it's a good idea. Um. Hmm. Well, that's pain. Fine. Okay, you win yet another pawn. And one that's decidedly very close to my king. And I'm not comfortable with that. I'm still going to let it happen. Because I don't see anything better. 
You take, I take. You potentially take that, and I drop a gold somewhere. And I get some initiative, finally. Uh, mm -hmm. I missed that. Fine, let's bring it over here. Oh shit, that doesn't do anything. It looks nice. That doesn't bear a threat. This is like, don't run from a fork, except there's no fork, and also you're not actually successfully running. So, yeah, I did everything wrong in that move. Um... Hmm. Like, there's nowhere to run here. Okay, we'll try to activate remaining pieces. So I lose two pieces for a pawn. And everything's collapsing. Um, but my king is running, so there's still some hope. Not very much, but some is better than none. The only way our opponents ranked 2Q is if they are bad at time pressure situations. Because they're playing the rest of this game well. It's just the time management that's a bit um, different than how most players handle it. So if I can somehow make this complicated, I'll have a chance. If I can't make this complicated, the game's over. So, we'll see if I can stir any sort of trouble. I'm not going to throw the game on purpose, just to get a time situation. Saddest gold drop ever. Um, but yeah, I want this bishop gone. I want it to be potentially a target for my remaining pieces. Um... I just helped it activate. This. Dumb. That was impulsive. Let's take this. There was no reason to kick the bishop immediately. I could have waited.
Thanks for the game. I did not manage my time well earlier in the game. Uh, I should have played better moves. It, this is a different form of shogi than you'll find on other sites. Good luck. Oh god. I'm not sure what to do against that. So it looks like today we're freestyling. Um, there's problems with freestyling, and that it's really hard to play moves that are, don't suck. Um, hmm. This threatens to cut off the rook. All right. Um, this implements the threat to cut off the rook. Threatens to attack toward their king. This implements the threat? I think I do. I don't see any way to further solidify this position. And if I can't strengthen my position any, then this is the right timing. Um... Wow. Okay then. Mm -hmm. I get a pawn in hand. Um. Well, this is a sharp position, and I've bamboozled myself once more. Alright, I'll take this vanguard pawn, and maybe offer a bishop exchange here. No, my bishop's excellent. Theirs might not be. 
Um, they're threatening a pawn drop right on my silver's head. I have to do something about it. But all the things I see that I can do aren't that great. Therefore, we offer the bishop exchange. Understanding that this is... Well, I don't understand it very well. Because they can drop a bishop right there and then take my lance. And I don't see how I attack, but if there must be something... Um... Okay, we're going to run like this, I guess. It's a mess and a half, and another half. Um, I'm surprised I've survived is a bit of a rough word for this, but somehow, like, my king is still on the board. Um... If not allowed their rook to promote, their bishop is still is now blocked. It wasn't blocked until just now, but now it is blocked. So yeah, survived I think overestimates my chances here, but I'm not doing terribly. Okay. Fine. You want my bishop? It's yours. I can't prevent that forever. I'm threatening to win this rook. So... That's about as far as my calculus went. Is that this rook is being a thorn. We're going to remove it. And it'll cost whatever it costs. Um, Hmm. Welcome. Hi. Um, go home. Mm, this pawn move was wasteful. It's so wasteful. I didn't have time for that. Well, this is the only way I can say that I had time for it. I don't think I did, though. Um, but yeah, this wins a tempo because the knight is hanging. It's not convincing. Mm -hmm. They say don't run from a fork, but that's not a fork. All right, we're running. If there's a pawn drop checkmate, there's also a legal checkmate. I don't remember hearing that one before. That's a good one.
Well, I hope that I can find some legal checkmate that benefits me. Um... Yeah, I wonder if I lose enough games, will my temperament change any? Will I calm down and play a more, I don't know, reasonable style? If I take that, they could... Well, they're not going to drop a gold here. They could drop a bishop. That'd be scary. Alright, so I'm taking the knight. They're going to exchange gold for this rook now. That's fine. Um, let's I take that. How do I make them? Something. It's not an easy position. I need to reinforce my attack like this. I don't have enough attackers without that pawn. The pawn also might not be good enough, but without that, there's not any chance. Yeah, that makes me uncomfortable. Um, I run. You're going to drop something soon. I don't know what. Oh, that's resourceful. Um, all right, so they've already gotten um, one bishop, so I'm not afraid of them getting the other bishop. Okay, I didn't understand the gravity of that until just now. I forgot I don't have a knight protecting this square, so it, I had to do something about this threat. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they want a repetition, I'm taking a repetition. There's no way that I'm winning this. 
They need to find something else. I don't think my king can take the knight. Yeah. Maybe my king had to take the knight. This is bad. Uh, this is the only thing I can see, and it's not. It doesn't work. Oh, they forced my king back into the corner. They have a gold. I have no choice here. I thought my king escapes. It does not. So I am super checkmated. But how are they going to do it? Let's see it. Yeah, if my king had escaped, maybe there could have been something. Thanks for the game. Yep, that's a good effort. We got one more. Um, well, uh, busy as usual. Good luck. Uh, but I'm making good progress integrating lots of new features into Lee Shogi and into the Lee Shogi and Lee Chess API integrations with Discord. So making things the world can use, not so much progressing on things that I can use, but that's fine. Thank you. Yeah. I'll need it. <laughs> Need good luck. All right, so here that's a target. Okay. Our opponent wants this kind of position, so we're getting this kind of position now. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Never mind that, like, I'm not particularly great at this category of position. So, we'll do the best we can, but this could be very rough. Alright, that's a free tempo. Freest tempo ever. Um, question is what to do here. I'm just going to continue blitzing, because it's fun. But also because I just, I don't know, feel like everything is dangerous, and therefore, like, I don't know. If I have such a false sense of danger, um, thinking everything's dangerous, then the only way to overcome that is show some bravado. Like, I mean, yeah, that's aggressive. Sure. If 
If I take the Silver Knight, no, I don't need to capture yet. Let's run. Um. So, I think I'm doing okay. Hmm. Knight takes, knight takes. That does not win anything. Pawn takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, rook takes. Oh, hang on. They shouldn't be allowing that. That's a bit too dangerous for them. My knight doesn't have to take the silver. I could also promote right in front of their king. So this is not a safe position for either of us. Um, so I'm going to take the square and hit the silver again. They retreat. I could drop a pawn. No. Oh, I've been... Other than this bishop drop, I was patient. I was hopeful they'd take that and I'd drop a pawn up here. Um, but we didn't get that. Wow. Okay. Um, sure, let's exchange. Now my rook is not defended. That is potentially an issue. That they might win my rook at some point. Um, but I contend their king's right in the middle of the board. I've got half of a castle. Which is a little Not bit better than what they have. Um, so I'm threatening the lance drop here, but that could be met with the pawn drop. Um, I'm not sure. What, like, I don't threaten the king directly, as best as I can tell. Okay. Hey, look, my rook's hanging. Oh no. Wait, we saw that coming. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what I was going to do about it, but it was foreseeable. Okay, one of my plans is to bring the rook here and defend that, and that doesn't work. Um, yeah, they're actually not just attacking my rook, but also attacking my king. So I actually do need to care a lot. Um, I think I have the mate threat covered, but if we die, we die. Let's find out.
Okay, that threatens mate in one here. Um, no, it doesn't, because my rook has that defended. What's the actual threat? I don't know. I don't see it. I looked. I don't see it. Maybe I should have surrounded their king instead of grabbing the knight. And by maybe, I mean, like, almost certainly. If I want my attack to succeed, I have to pursue their king. All these other things are too slow. Um... <laughs> But I was also concerned if I give them the right piece, I made it. They really want my knight. Um, so I can only give them a knight if I checkmate them. Or if I somehow stop their mate threat. Gofun. I activate my horse. The threat is if they drop a silver, I promote my knight and then drop a silver here. So that's my threat. I guess another threat might... I'm trying to read this out. King runs, check. King back. So, oh, never mind. We don't have to look at any of that. Because their king is completely surrounded at this point. Um, can I... No, if I drop my silver, then I can't use it later. Um, my bishop, they drop... Okay, so... Um... I think this is the only sequence that mates. Oh, right, they have a rook. Um, I forgot about that. It's fine. I can profit here. So, I exchange all my invaluable pieces. Um, but we also throw this in so that the attack doesn't die while I'm exchanging. Should have read this out. Mm. This has got to be the least efficient checkmate I've ever done. Alright, but it works. Thanks for the game.
All right, that's three games for today. We got a bit lucky the last game, so uh, Kyo uh, wishing us good luck uh, was uh, well timed, I suppose. Hope we enjoyed this series. Uh, thanks for watching.